welcome to es tutorial online education first of all i will tell you that in this channel you will get to know the videos related to education so today our topic is basic concept of computers before i start first i am telling you that uh, nowadays we are using computers we get to see that computers are in uh, school college office banks institutions organization business everywhere we see computers so what is the basic concept of computers we will understand today so my dear friends i request all of you please watch this video till the end so let's start what is the definition of computer the term computer is derived from the word compute this means to calculate but today's computers are not just calculating devices computers are versatile they are capable of performing varied types of jobs can handle multiple applications at one time the acronym for computer is common oriented machine particularly used for trade education and research last one is a computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data it has the ability to store retrieve and process data and give the output in a desired manner as we want so what is the characteristics of computer now we have to understand what is the characteristics behind it characteristics is nature features we can understand so what is the first feature the first feature is its speed computer is very fast calculating device it can execute basic operations like addition multiplication subtraction division at few microseconds accuracy second one is accuracy the accuracy of computer does not go down when they are used continuously for hours together it always gives accurate results third one is storage computer has a very large storage capacity it has an inbuilt memory where it can store a large amount of data we can also store data in secondary storage devices like floppy disk hard disk etc if you want to know what is floppy disk and hard disk give me your comment in below then i will give i will make a video on this topic next one is versatility what is the versatility it means computer can perform different types of job efficiently computer can work with different types of data and information such as visuals text graphics and video etc at same time next one is paperwork reduced the computer reduces the paperwork of any organization the required data which was earlier stored in files drawers cabinets is now stored in the memory of computer so the organization can reduce the paperwork next one is manpower reduced the work which was done by many persons in an office can be done by one computer with more accuracy and efficiency thus an organization need less manpower or persons to employ then diligence a computer can work for long hours with the same accuracy and speed because it is free from problems of boredom or lack of concentration then comes to the next point that is what is the drawbacks of computer drawbacks despite various advantages computer have certain limitations also no iq iq means intelligent quotient a computer is a dumb machine and it cannot do any work without instruction from the user it has no intelligence of its own the computer cannot take its own decision as we can next one is no feelings it does not have feelings or emotion taste knowledge and experience that's why it does not get tired even after long hours of work no decision making capability computers are not capable of taking decisions human beings take decisions after analysis the output given by the computer so next point is that applications of computer the use of computer is well recognized since we are living in the informative society 
Information technology is playing an ever-growing role in our lives. It includes telecommunications, microwaves, lasers, and fiber optics, along with computers. There is no area in human life which is not affected by the power of computer system. The computer is a tool to work with information and to create new information following are the applications. Now let's read. It is very important for you because you may face interview with this type of questions. The uses of computer in homes. These days, computers are essential for family like washing machine, refrigerator. They are used for entertainment, watching movies, playing games, etc. Computers are used to manage finances working in home away from office. Internet banking, communication and information sharing, doing homework, etc. Computer in education. More and more schools are adding computers technology to their syllabi so that the students may be aware of the computer skills and may use these skills for other subjects also. Computers can be used for solving engineering, mathematical and scientific problems with great speed and accuracy. Students make use of encyclopedias to search and find useful information. They can read the books available online and can surf the e-libraries of other institutions. Computers in entertainment. Computers also find place in music and entertainment industry MIDI. Musical Instrument Digital Interface is a tool for creating and recording music. Children particularly use of computer for purposes of entertainment. Computer and healthcare. The computer play a major role in the field of medical diagnosis and healthcare. The detection of disease and its suitable preparation has become fast and quick using IT tools. Moreover, the diagnosis is accurate and quick. In healthcare, physicians and surgeons use computers for performing delicate operations, conduct surgery, surgeries, ultrasound and laser eye surgeries. MIR, CT scan and maintain patient's record, etc. And it is very important that the computer and weather forecasting, computers are used to cor get correct timely prediction of weather conditions. People working and living at the sea source, hilly areas make suitable arrangement for saving their lives and avoiding damages. Computer and business sector. Computer also find place in business even the small companies use computer to perform their basic functions and to manage the accounting, inventory, marketing and payroll. Computer in banking. Banking functions in all the urban, semi-urban, rural areas are fully computerized. Atoms have been installed by all the banks at the various locations to provide the facility of quick withdrawal of money at any time. Computerized statement of account and interest calculations can be obtained in few seconds, which was initially a very time-consuming job. The survival of banking industry is impossible without computers. Computer in communication. Nowadays, people do not use conventional methods of communication. They communicate through email, voice chat, audio, video, conferencing. In these methods, we do not have to arrange the meetings, venues, and management. Thus, saves a lot of time and money. People communicate and exchange ideas sitting at remote graphical areas. Computers and industries. Industries use different types of computers in many combinations to automate their jobs. Computers are used to design and make new products. Computers add a language card and computer added manufacturing come of many parts. Computer in government sector. Government are also a big, uh, big consumer of technology. They use computers to calculate taxes, revenues. Military people use computers for European control to communicate on radio, under water, on air and on the surface of the earth. Government also uses computerized con control system to manage traffic. Moreover, airlines, railways are also computerized. Detail of flights and rail can be easily found on the computer via internet. The entire world has become small because of the availability of information technology. Computer in agriculture. The information technology is used in crop farming and management practices. These areas include the control of pest and disease weed control, land preparation and other related practice. What is the components? Now let's see this diagram can make you understand the components of computer. In the left side you see that input and right side there is output and up down is CPU, central processing unit and uh, then CU, control unit, then uh, ALU, arithmetic logical unit, 
arithmetic logical unit then at the end this is storage device a computer system is mainly pair four parts four parts input device output device storage device and cpu this is the four device and what is the history of computers abacus napier's bones and pascaline edin machine so here we get to know what is the basic concept of computers so i hope that you totally knew about the basic concept of computer so thank you for watching this video and if you do not have subscribed yet please subscribe this channel for more videos and jai hind bande matram